We are in beautiful Sunrise, Florida this morning to replace a pump, a clock, and install a brand new suction line. We're gonna start by building the suction line because the customer's not awake yet. It's about 20 minutes before eight o'clock, so we'll be knocking on the door soon, but I wanna get a head start on this. So let's build the suction line. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like knocking on people's door before the eight o'clock appointment time. So I'll use my time to put this together out front. So while I had that intake line cut down there, I sent my fish tape through it, attached my tracker to it, and tracked it down to here, and I found it. So we're gonna cut off the old suction line, discard it, and then we're gonna connect this brand new suction line that can handle 75 gallons a minute, which this pump will never be doing. And there's the old suction line. I'd say they're getting an improvement. So there she is, all installed and ready to go. We can prime this pump up, but before we do, let me explain a little trick I do here. You see that little purple line on the top of the pipe? Well, it also follows the red writing on the pipe. And the reason why I did that, if you noticed earlier in the video, I also painted a line on the top of the check valve. This is a swing check valve. So we wanna make sure that when it's installed in the position that it's in horizontally, that the swing portion is on the top of the check valve. I've painted the top of the check valve so that'll be easy to see which side is the top. And then I followed the top of the check valve with the red writing on the pipe so that I could see down on this end where the top was. And then at the very end, I went and painted a little line here. So when I made my final connection, I could just look over my shoulder and know that it's paint, uh, pointed up. All right, let me go prime this pump up.